Hey everybody, so The Amazing Atheist, who we all know is my favorite YouTube user. I'm her favorite! Yay! I don't want to say that he's lost all credibility, like some people who've already criticized him have said, because I never thought he had any to begin with. Oh, so when you said I was your favorite, you were being sarcastic. I see. If sarcasm's what we're doing, hey, I can be sarcastic too. And on that note, let me just tell you that I think your videos are wonderful. Just so informative, so well thought out, well reasoned, well researched. And I admire your commitment to put evidence before ideology. Congratulations on earning my respect. I've always thought of him as somebody who appeals to the majority opinion. Yeah, you know me. I'm always appealing to that huge, atheist, leftist, libertarian, anti-military, anti-police majority that we have here in America. I don't even know why I bother making videos. The whole country already agrees with me. Who provides no intellectual content. You know, I, I don't. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I don't provide intellectual content at all. I don't make videos where I make well-reasoned arguments for my position, and I don't make any videos where I make astute social commentary. I don't do any of that. I just kind of go up here and I go, and people just watch because they're stupid. That's how it works. Who isn't even really entertaining. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's another true statement. I don't entertain anybody. People watch me for some crazy, absolutely inexplicable reason. No one knows why anyone watches me. Uh, they should be watching you because you're, you're true entertainment. But me, I'm, ooh, I'm shit, I'm scum, I'm just, ooh, I'm nothing. But that's my personal opinion, and... Oh, no, no, those are facts. Those are, don't sell yourself short, those are facts. Absolute, airtight, ironclad facts. Don't say their opinion because they're obviously facts. You, oh, you're only complaining about him now? I just don't like to complain about people on YouTube because I don't think it's productive. Yeah, obviously you don't like to complain about people, because if you did, you'd probably say I was an appeaser of the majority who had no intellectual content and wasn't entertaining. But since you didn't say that, it's apparent that you don't like to complain, obviously. But I damn sure I'm pissed off about this video. FEMINIST SMASH! I don't like when people go off talking about things that they really don't understand. Mmm, yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine as well. He brought up, for example, in his video, um, porn. Like, quit trying to take everybody's porn away. First off, you assume that everybody watches pornography or uses it. I do? I wasn't even aware that I thought that. Thanks! I'm so glad that there's someone out there who knows what I think better than I do. Um, secondly, nobody is trying to take your porn away. Nobody's trying to ban it. The discussions that have been about pornography have been about how it's harmful. <sighs> Come on now, are we to believe... Oh, by the way, sarcasm's over. Are we to believe that you hate porn and you view it as harmful, yet you don't want it banned. Are we to believe this even in light of the fact that you are in favor of rigid state control? Are we to believe this even in light of the fact that you continually, throughout your videos, refer to our right to do what we please with our own bodies as not a right, but a privilege? Are we to still believe it in light of your positions and your remarks that you truly don't want pornography to be banned? Sure, okay, you don't believe that pornography should be banned outright, but in your perfect world, in the utopia that you're going for, it is banned, isn't it? It doesn't exist in your perfect world, which you are trying to bring about. So is it really true that you don't want to ban pornography? Isn't it more true to say that you don't want to ban it immediately, but that you do want to ban it ultimately? Do you disagree with those arguments? Perhaps you should argue with them, instead of making gross generalizations. Perhaps you should apply that criticism to yourself before levying it at others. Um, thirdly, I mean, as far as pornography, if you had actually any idea what you were talking about, if you had done any research into the feminist movement in general, like in real life, 
or even on YouTube where this debate has been going on, you would see that the feminist community is pretty split about the pornography issue. I said in the video that you're responding to that that was my personal opinion based on my conversations with feminists. I never made any claims that I did any research or looked at any polls to indicate what percentage of feminists were in favor of pornography and what percentage of feminists were against it. I, in fact, said quite the opposite. I made it known in the first minute of that video that I had done no such research and was speaking from my personal experience. You don't have the right. This isn't a right that you have to use other human beings as masturbation accessories, okay? There you go again, you disingenu- No, I'm not gonna get personal. But there you go again, talking about rights that we ought not have. Yeah, you shouldn't have this right, and you shouldn't have that right, and it's not a right to do this, and it's not a right to do that, but you're not for banning porn though, right? You're not for banning porn, you're just against the right of anyone to watch it. And by the way, little Miss Prissy Pants, what the hell is a masturbation accessory? I mean, I know I can go to a sex shop and buy an object which is a masturbation accessory, but I've never heard a person described as a masturbation accessory. Are you sure that it's men who are objectifying women? It seems like you're the one objectifying them by calling them masturbation accessories. Like, and, and what is the harm? Like, when a man masturbates, does the subject of his masturbatory fantasy lose a piece of his or her soul? When a man masturbates, does it somehow destroy the fabric of space and time? What is the harm? Draw me a fucking map where a man masturbating magically transforms into some pain and suffering for some woman somewhere. Straight up, wake up to your own sense of entitlement. Um, you aren't entitled to sex. I'm not? Are you sure about that? Do you know why I exist? I exist because my mother and my father had sex. And my mother's mother and my mother's father had sex to create my mother. And my father's mother and my father's father had sex to create my father. And so on and so on and so on, all throughout the history of sexual reproduction. Every single one of my ancestors has something in common. They all got laid. And maybe that doesn't necessarily make me entitled to sex. But that does mean that I, as a biological organism, want sex. Because all of my ancestors wanted sex. Because if they didn't, then I wouldn't be here. If your ancestors didn't want sex, you wouldn't be here. So, if I want it, and someone else wants it, and I want it with them, and they want it with me, and I say, let's have sex, and they say, okay, what is the fucking problem? And I'm damn sure not going to let you, um, you know, continue this type of stuff. I'd like to see you try to stop me. Just, he referred to feminists. He, he compared us to KKK members. You're right. I was out of line. I would like to formally apologize to the KKK for any image problems that I might have caused them by comparing them to feminists. We're activists for social change. Activists for social justice. <laughs> You're an activist against biology. Even so, like, it doesn't justify it. You really are fucking blind. Like, the examples are everywhere. It's in everything. Yeah, okay. Don't bother uh, pointing them out or anything. Just vaguely allude to them. That's just as good. They're out there. You're blind. You don't see them. Let's, I mean, let's just be honest. This is the guy who believes that business owners should have a right to discriminate based on the color of the person if they are racist. So, if you were a racist business owner, you couldn't sir you would have the right to refuse service to black people. Okay, what is this new argument? Hey, this guy said something that the majority of people disagree with once, therefore he's probably wrong about this too, so you should be on my side. Yeah, who's pandering to the majority now, you fucking hypocrite? This is the guy who, in an attempt to silence, let me say this, in an attempt to get this, um, bigoted teenage girl to shut the fuck up, to silence her, 
decided he would resort to using her gender against her. What you mean to say is that I called her a stick with tits. And so what? If a girl called a guy that she didn't like a, a, a macho, jarhead asshole, would you call her a sexist? No, of course not. Because sexism is a one-way street for you. When it goes the other way, you wear the blinders. You don't care. Oh, that didn't happen. All men are pigs. All men are scum. All men are shit. And I know that you think that that's not your stance. You honestly think that you don't think that about men. But you really do think that about man because you hate the biology of man. You hate the evolutionary imperatives that are in man's brain. And you know what? You can't hate man without hating yourself. All the evolutionary traits of male reproduction and the evolutionary traits of female reproduction, they have marched in lockstep. They have grown together. And if you hate one, you hate the other. So I submit to you that you despise sexuality. You despise your own sexuality because you despise my sexuality because you despise everyone's sexuality. You're just like a Catholic who says, oh no, I don't hate sex. I only hate sex that's not in the missionary position for the express purpose of procreation. You have a different standard for what sex is acceptable, but it's still a narrow standard that precludes the sexual enjoyment of everyone else in the world. Because you want to have it a certain way, and you can't say to yourself, well, that's just my personal preference. No, you have to be an ass and apply your preference to everyone else. And you get to call it feminism. Oh, I'm a feminist. It's a progressive, enlightened philosophy. My ass, it's a progressive and enlightened philosophy. It's a bullshit, bigoted, narrow-minded asshole philosophy for fucking morons. I just feel sad for him. He's not stupid. He could use his intellect for good things. Um... But he doesn't. Well, I'm glad that you acknowledge that I'm not stupid. And I wish I could extend the same courtesy to you, but I'm afraid, Ms., that I'm not disingenuous enough to do so. I will, however, give you the honor of knowing what I truly think about you. I think that you're damaged. Everything about your personality testifies to it. Your bouts of nervous laughter, the way you're always looking down and to the side when you're talking, the often sad inflection of your voice. And the sad thing is that I really do think you're a good person who is genuinely fighting against a perceived injustice. But your attempts to fight that injustice are so misguided that you've basically turned yourself into this hideous monster of a human being who is completely unlikable to anyone with a brain in their fucking head. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace. Truly.